Hello everybody and welcome back to Stride Fates, where apparently the resolution has been increased by 1.75 times or something like that. They've added foveated rendering three weeks after launch along with the DLC, which they promised they'd do. I can see though that smooth turning still is reset every time I come to the game, <laughs> um, which is annoying. But today we're jumping in to check out the visual improvements to see how much better the game looks. And looking at this, the game does look a lot better. I would say... From first impression it's a little bit there's still a bit of aliasing along like these like edges here it's off this building it's not as polished as say bullet storm that we looked at yesterday but i need to have a little look more um and see but it is, is a lot better from what uh, i can first see here so we'll just jump into the welcome to Aeron city mission i guess because i'll go through what i'm mo we're most familiar with which is the start okay so i mean straight off the bat like ha this looks so much better in terms of your hands your arms um, and the actual world looks a lot better now. It's not reprojected from what I can tell, which is good. So the world feels a lot more alive now. I still feel like the running is a little off, but um, overall, it feels a lot better now that the game looks good and you're, you feel a lot more immersed in this physics-based world. Like, yeah, I do feel like I have to move my, my arms a lot more than I should for the sprinting. Yeah, I still feel that the... Um, the grabbing, if it was done via eye tracking, would be perfect. I don't think it is though. No, it's just done by wherever wherever my hand is pointing, which is a little a little rough, but oh well. The world itself looks so much better now though, like that mirror's edge style comes through so much more. And like, it feels smooth, you know, it's 90, 90 hertz, which is how it should be. And there's a certain demographic of people that will really love the way this game feels. I'm actually in that demographic, how the, how the gameplay feels. I feel like the climbing is a little janky at points, but the actual parkour is pretty damn solid. In terms of when you get it down, you know? And just the feeling of doing this is sick. And I'm glad they've got it polished up, but man, just delay the game by three weeks and get it to this state. Yeah, like, I don't think, I can't really, like, throw my, oh, I can throw myself. I didn't work at launch, nice. And wall riding is the same. It's just like I need to kind of go like this to sprint rather than swinging my arms normally like you do in Blade and Sorcery. But man, the game looks so much better now. As I said though, I don't think it looks quite as good as um, say like Bullet Storms increase. Because like this is clear, but if I look at that building at the, at, at the back, when you look at it for a little while, the, the edges start to shimmer a little. Whereas with Bullet Storm, I didn't really see that. But you know, it's so much better than it was. If the graphics were the only thing putting you off, like the resolution before, you'll be sorted now. Honestly, you really will. Jump and hook onto the airport to fly over the obstacle. I still feel like the, the dialogue's a bit stilted, and I heard that in the new um, expansion that's now been added to the game on PSVR 2. It was there at launch, I think, on Quest and PC. I, I think it has AI-generated voice lines, which I'm really not a fan of. Yeah, appa apparently the new DLC does use AI for voice lines, and I'm really not about that. Um, but the, the campaign, the main campaign that I'm replaying now does uh, use real voice lines, so that's good. Okay, I want to see how the uh, kind of the net running world looks, which is what we're going into now. Yeah, this looks much better now. Awesome. Yeah, visually it looks how it should. You know, this is how it should have launched, man. I don't know why it didn't. Well, I, I guess, you know, deadlines were with a thing, but... Uh... Yeah, this is exactly how I envisioned the game looking before I played it and was a bit disappointed. Yeah, there's no ha was there haptic feedback at launch and adaptive triggers? I'm not sure if there was. There definitely is now though, if there wasn't before. Yeah, the parkour does feel you know, it's a bit janky if you're just trying to oh. If you're trying to be really smooth with it, it's a little janky, but if you use the jank to your strength, uh, it's actually pretty damn good. And also the uh the actual melee combat, even though the AI is dumb as a bag of rocks, uh, the actual melee combat's pretty fun, I, I will admit. And I mean, these guys now look... I mean, I want to see the um, the human enemies as well, but these guys look really good now, in terms of fidelity. This was cool. Where did you come from? Nice. I don't know, I heard mixed things from other reviewers about the combat, but I, I do think it is quite fluid and fun. But yeah, that actually, that, that digital world looks so much better now. It looks exactly how it should have done at launch, man. Awesome, okay, we can go through. Oh, fuck. 
Okay, yeah, they actually look, visually look good now. Okay, you ready? Oh, come on, get up. Just the haptics combined with the ragdoll physics. I don't know, man, I just like it. And the fact that you can just, wee. Nice. Ah, I love melee combat. There's so many of them. For first level, this is pretty intense. I wish I could just melee combat all of them, you know? 1v1 that shit. Yeah, it's just that hooking system is a little... Well done, Dodgy. Nice. Yeah, but like weirdly wiggling your arms like this makes you run faster than actually swinging them like this. Like how I feel like it should be, you know? It's very much like a Breacher's sort of art style. It's not as polished, I don't think, in terms of the visual style, um, but it's very, very similar. It's cool seeing like the streets below and stuff. And then if you grab onto the rope, it takes you away. <laughs> right, we'll jump into one more and then we'll call it a day. Okay, let's have a look at a bit more busy environment in the next mission. I just want to have a look and see how it looks with the visual upgrades. And I'm, I mean, this looks so much better. Yo. I mean, the reflections on here look good as well now. I, I mean, I can read the writing on it. Hello, friend. Hi. Here we go. Familiar places. Nice. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, it, even in the busier sections, it does look a little... It's a, a little aliasy. Um, but it's it's so much better than it was, man. And I enjoyed my time before with it. It was just... I couldn't really comfortably recommend... Hmm. <laughs> I couldn't really comfortably recommend it when uh, it looked like that. But it's a lot better now, so... Like, I can't really throw myself like I want to. I don't know. Like, in a rising call the mountain, I can kind of... I could launch myself from piece of pipe to piece of pipe but here you have to be so careful because it is a bit janky and it does get a bit frustrating hello friend nice this is a cool weapon though the shotgun's quite nice quite fun to use and then the indoor sections here are pretty sick it feels like bone lab a bit in those missions where you're going around in the uh, smaller areas oh bit frame droppy now though I don't know if you can see that. It probably won't show up in the 60 frames a second recording, but man, it is dropping frames right now like crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's not reprojected. It's literally is just running at like, it feels like 60 maybe. But yeah, it is It is a little wonky sometimes in terms of picking up stuff. As you just saw, I just grabbed onto the table and the AI are just literally standing here. So it varies from like power fantasy fun to just not very, uh, There's quite cool VR moments like this where you're like, you know, using a tool like that to open something, which I quite like. And on that devastating death, uh, thank you all for joining me just to take a look at the visuals of Stride of Fate. If you want to know my thoughts on the actual game, I've done a full review three weeks ago. I'll put that in the link in the description. Because, uh, to be honest, it's it's a bit of a mixed bag, but there is some fun to be had here if you're open to it. And now it does look the part. So thank you all for watching. Thank you to our patrons and YouTube members, Luke Bentley, Phil Irving, Hasit Moza, Ace Gamer, Hippie Pickle, Din007, a license to chill, Piosco, and Fat Controllers. If you want to join the Patreon or YouTube membership, they're both down in the description below. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you all in the next one.